Hey Aries, this is going to be a reading for you guys from today, which is December 10th. It's the end of December 10th right now to the 17th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I'm using the Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. If I get too many reversals, I'm not going to take them. So let's see Aries. I just need to make sure these are all flipped over. What is going on with you guys? This is also for cross watchers. If you happen to find this reading and it's not during the, that week stated, and if it resonates, take it as it resonates, okay? So by cross watchers, I mean someone could be experiencing the energy of this reading, but they're dealing with an Aries, okay? So take the messages just as they resonate. Okay, so let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. We've got the Magician, okay, Virgo energy and Gemini energy here. Let's see. There's too many here, you see, they're all stuck together. This deck is kind of hard to separate them. I feel like you could be learning about, I almost feel... Some of you guys could be into tarot or into like learning, not like witchcraft, but like some spiritual type ways here, getting more into it. Libra energy justice. Okay. So I feel like something someone did, like something someone created could be creating some karma for them. To me, this is like creating karma. Okay. Could be the person you're dealing with is experiencing some karma or someone is experiencing karma we've got king of wands here sagittarius aries and leo okay so that could be the person um there could also be um positive things going on with this person balance being restored a new beginning i'm getting oh king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo so many energies coming up here okay a lot of masculine energy though two masculine energies and then we've got the eight of pentacles I feel like something didn't work out with one but something could be working out with another okay it could be between a fire sign and an earth sign it's like there's success in one area but not in the other and maybe you have to make a decision here and then we've got queen of pentacles okay so i feel like um aries your energy kind of matches the earth sign more what you're looking for is more of like a solid kind of relationship someone who has the same values as you but there could be someone here who's kind of very charismatic and they're coming on strong and so you're caught in the middle here okay i feel like obviously with this situation you're going to have to follow your intuition could be someone from the past and then someone new coming in okay but we have queen of pentacles and king of pentacles those are counterparts so i feel you resonate more if you're a feminine, you're coming up more as matching that King of Pentacles energy. And then we have Six of Wands. See, there's a lot about like success. And I feel like with the justice, like Libra energy is very much about decisions. It's kind of like, do you want the more karmic route or do you want the more like good karma or bad karma? Not that there's bad karma, but like, I feel like you know that something has to kind of be put to rest in order for there to be success because magician and six of wands is like you have it in your hands right now to decide which way you want your future to go it's like you're up it's up to you to manifest this right now wow aries that's intense energy okay so let's see what else here we're gonna pull from this deck from extrasensory empress called the paths to self-expression and see maybe if there's specific um specific uh what's the word i'm looking for not job but occupations of this person but also just channel and see what comes through here okay Aries, writing and publishing, okay? Maybe there's some sort of communication that needs to be had. Something was written, something was um, created in writing. Housekeeping. Yeah, I feel like someone needs to kind of clear their karma here. There's something called um, karma yoga where you kind of like, you clean and it's a form of karma, you know, in the Indian culture in India, because I studied, I not studied, I studied yoga there when you clean like the shala and stuff that's actually karma so something needs to be cleaned up here and someone has to follow their intuition here because there is some kind of like energy being picked up and i feel like this is like you going with your intuition and it's like based on 
what you see versus what you feel, okay? You could have seen something on a picture or, I don't know, I feel like you guys know the answer, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and you see law enforcement, that's like that karma again, so there's a lot of karma coming up here, and it's like, I don't know if someone took a picture, a screenshot, and showed someone something someone else wrote, but I feel like that's going to create karma, so if you did anything like this, it's like time to kind of <laughs> either you're gonna have to come clean they're gonna have to come clean or literally karma is gonna clean this situation up that's what i'm getting here so it's like you can't really avoid karma I, I mean i feel like it's the other person but it could be you so take this as it resonates because some of you guys could be like huh what is this going on now it could be that like you saw some sort of communication with your person and someone else and that could be like one of like the fire sign or the earth sign and um now you're like I don't know. I also feel like someone's holding back and not saying what they want to say here. Okay, so let's get some more energies. We're going to go into... I'm just getting so much karmic energy for you guys. If that doesn't resonate, I apologize. That's just what is coming through here, Aries. Okay, I just got to grab these cards. I've got so much going on here, guys. Okay, I'm dropping, dropping stuff. Okay, so... This is going to be from the Dating Scene Oracle. Okay. <clears throat> so what are the other energies between you and this person? You could be a psychic. That's what I was saying with the witch. Like, I feel like you could be a tarot reader watching this or into this kind of stuff. Committed won't ever let you go, okay? That's that Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like you guys are looking for that happy and sensible, sentimental and sincere. I feel like you know what you want and you, you know what you deserve. And maybe you've been allowing people that aren't that energy here. Privacy, please. Keep your private life private. Yes, that is that housekeeping energy. So maybe you guys shared something that you weren't supposed to share and now you're learning a lesson about boundaries okay because look this is on the floor this boundaries card oh no let's see oh no that's a different one okay all right so something needs to be kept private curvy Okay, this could involve, you could be someone that's curvy. You guys, I just keep dropping cards everywhere. You fell on the floor. Netflix and chill, literally, and an occasional smooch. Instant connection, soulful bond. Because I feel like you feel that way with someone that could have been the person that you're dealing with, okay? But... I feel like you know who this person is like in both scenarios, all right? Whoever the instant bond is with, all right. Let's get some more energies. Movement, things are gonna start to move, okay? That's almost kind of like the chariot energy with the horse. Obedience and playful. You know what, I want to keep shuffling because this was from another reading, those two cards. That's number 29 here. Number 35, strength. Okay, that's kind of like Leo energy. So you have the strength and endurance to move this forward in a positive direction. And the warrior, yeah, you feel like maybe you're fighting a lot of battles. You maybe feel like you can't, you're overwhelmed with things, but I do feel like you guys are warriors. You've been through worse. This is number two. All right, so what does this person want to communicate to you or what do you want to communicate to this person? You are not part of my plan. I, I tell myself that you don't mean that much. I don't know why, but that song, I don't know much, but I know I love you. That song just came through. I don't really know you. Oh, wow. Okay, so this person might feel like you're withholding something from them too. I understand you better now. So what I'm getting here is that this is this story has kind of evolved. Like in the beginning, this person was like, who are you? There's someone who you felt an instant connection with and there's someone who you felt wasn't. But sometimes guys, that instant soul bond doesn't mean that's the per. This reminds me of Sam Smith. 
that doesn't mean that's the person you're supposed to be with. So I feel like there was someone you didn't feel that instant connection with, but now you're starting to get each other and there's someone who you did, but maybe it didn't. So I feel a lot of your reading is about following your gut and choosing yourself and not feeling the need to explain to anyone either here. All right, Aries, so I hope this reading resonates with you. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.